But anyway, y'all, I'm feeling a little mm, down. I tried to find it online for y'all, but I just could not find it. So, yes, this is the look. <laughs> so, yeah, I just got my hoop earrings on. Same old, same old sandals. I need to go get me some more sandals. And that's pretty much it. So, we are headed to the festival. Let's go. We are at the festival. I call everything a festival. What is this really? I think this is kind of a festival. I mean, they got bouncy houses and stuff like that. They got a little tutu train for the kids. They got a dunking tank. I would call this a festival. So anyway, y'all know I'm going in with my um, handy dandy oil-free sunscreen. I'll link it below. If you're oily, this is a sunscreen for you. You gotta protect your face. I was hoping this was indoor, like in the gym, because <laughs> I just took a shower, but whatever. Anything for the kids. Your lips, okay. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Of course not, but you going to act right today, because I got my belt. vanilla cake pop. I probably shouldn't have done that, but maybe I'll eat like half one day and half the other day. We'll see. Oh, Campbell! wardrobe i need to kind of try to stay away from black so let me see kind of what else they got well, let me shop around a little bit see what else they got try to brighten up my wardrobe a little bit or get something for fall i'm done shopping i've supported my black business um, i got me a cake pop which i shouldn't have gotten but i already got it Happy here, real quick. Are you ready to go? Of course. Mike is always ready to go.
so the festival was good we had a good time did you have a good time micah at the festival hmm He had to think about it, but the answer was yes. Eli had a good time. It was cute. It was cute. They had vendors set up there. They had snow cones, um, bouncy house, um, a dunking tank, a train, and they had like ice cream truck, food truck. So it was cute. It was cute. Um, it wasn't too hot either uh this low 80s so it wasn't too bad um i wanted to go to the post office because the mail people keep bringing other people's mail to our mailbox somebody yesterday dropped off a package a whole big old package to the wrong house and y'all know it's a federal crime to put things in people's mailboxes so I was going to go to the post office and let them kind of have it a little bit. Like, y'all postmen need to pay attention. And they probably going to be like, well, why you don't just, um, why you don't just put it in the, um, put, put it in their mailbox? That's not my job. Your job is to put it in the right mailbox. That's not my job. So, um, that's what I was going to tell them i was gonna get them a little piece of my mind but they closed early on saturdays i forgot about that so anyway we're gonna go home i'm getting chick-fil-a and i really need to go to the store get some ground turkey and some eggs i'm gonna make some spaghetti for them with some green beans again y'all probably like green beans every day. i'm working on my cooking skills i'm trying okay <laughs> So anyway, um, just getting some, waiting on this Chick-fil-A to come out, and yeah. Are we going to get Chick-fil-A? I need to go to the store and get one more thing so you can eat spaghetti later, okay? I just want to go home. You always want to go home, I understand. I'm glad that you like being at home. That means I'm doing something right. You know what? These fries from Chick fil A not fresh. Have y'all ever had not fresh fries from Chick fil A? They could have did better than this. Michael, go wash your hands. They were on for this. Let's go through scanning my. Um, what? My head um, keep turning it off. So he has two tablets. Neither one is working. We're just going to get my iPad for Christmas. So that's all we could do. Yeah, I need to clean up, but I don't feel like it right now. But anyway, I just got through scanning my receipts for the Fetch app. <clears throat> If you haven't already, you need to download the Fetch app so that whenever you go shopping, you can scan your receipts and you get points. And the more points that you get, the um, more chances that you have to get gift cards. You get gift cards with the amount of points that you get. So I'm almost at 5,000 points where I can start shopping for some gift cards. So yeah, download the Fetch app when you download it. Um, go over to settings and put my referral code on there because I'm the one that told you about it. So go ahead, use this referral code and start getting rewarded for the things that you're buying. Start getting cash back, start getting gift cards. You're already buying it, you might as well get something out of it, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, am I going to get comfortable or keep this cute dress on? I'm gonna get comfortable. I'm going to get comfortable. I'm just gonna put on my robe. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So I'm gonna get comfortable and then I need to edit two videos. Two 
videos today. So I got a lot of work to do. So let's get started. Just taking a little break. I just edited one video. I'm gonna edit another one later, but I'm just gonna cook some food right now. I'm gonna make some spaghetti. So let me get myself together. So the spaghetti still cooking. My kitchen's a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it at some point today or tomorrow. But anyway, y'all, I'm feeling a little mm, down because <laughs> I feel kind of lonely as a black YouTube mom here in Tampa. I kind of wish i knew other black youtube moms you know that i could hang out with get content with have play dates with hang out and it not be like awkward in any way because we're both content creators and we both get it and we both kind of have you know similar goals with youtube so I posted in this black YouTube Facebook group just to see if there was any like, you know, mom YouTubers in the Tampa Bay area. So I'm hoping I get a hit. I'm gonna post in some other Facebook groups as well to see if I can find somebody. Um, yeah, I think that'll be cool to kind of network with other people in the area who are content creators, especially a black mom. So yeah. Um, I would like that to happen. We will see. I will keep y'all posted. If you are in the Tampa Bay area and you're a black mom and you want to grow your YouTube and you know what I'm saying, see it flourish, comment below. Or if you know somebody or you know a content creator, hit me in my DMs or leave a comment tagging them um, so that I can check out their content and like reach out. Like I'm just in a mood where I kind of want to network and you know find people with similar you know goals and things like that so yeah no shade to my current friends i love my current friends i'm just saying i want to meet other people who are also content creators you know what i mean and i do have a friend my um co-host my podcast so we get it but you know i want more friends so yeah I'm just gonna, just gonna um, get the kids the spaghetti. I'm not gonna eat any, that's too many carbs for me. I'm probably gonna make myself a tuna salad tonight. Mm -hmm. A tuna salad, what am I gonna eat with that though? I'm gonna have to find something to eat with that, but definitely gonna have a tuna salad tonight. So, and then edit. Cause I got one more video I need to edit out. Also, I just had me a can of this. This is called Zero Sugar Swoon. Half iced tea, half lemonade. It has five calories, one gram of carbs. Y'all know that's my type of drink. And it was good. It was really good. So if I find it on Amazon, I'll link it for y'all. But I just picked it up at uh, Winn-Dixie. Um, and it's good. I also got this flavor. This is the peach iced tea. So I'm excited about this one, but the half iced tea, half lemonade was good, okay? 
Oh, and I also got this kombucha, this probiotic kombucha. Um, I didn't know kombucha had so many, uh, so much sugar. I mean, it was really hard to find a kombucha with uh, young, low sugar. This one has nine grams of sugar, which equates to nine, 10 grams of carbs. That's kind of a lot, but it's not like, what's the serving size? 14 fluid ounces, how many? Okay, so this whole thing has nine grams of carbs. Okay, so I'm not going to drink the whole thing. I'm just going to have like, you know, a couple sips or whatever, just to see how that does. I'm going to do that in the morning. It'll be the first thing that I drink before I drink anything else. So I got the mango passion fruit flavor. So I'll keep y'all updated on that. It's probably tomorrow, I'll let y'all know. What's up, y'all? Much later, fed everybody, including myself, cleaned the kitchen, and um, I wanna go to bed. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> But I got to stay disciplined and I got to edit this second video. So ain't nobody going to manage me but me. So I got to get it in where I can. But y'all, I wanted to tell y'all that my brother called me today and he is starting his own podcast and I think it's going to come out tomorrow. So I will leave a link in the description for y'all to go check out. Please support my brother. Go over there and say Cicely Justine sent you and show some love, y'all. I'm so excited for him. So proud. I'm so proud of him. I've been trying to get him to really get into this podcast forever. And he's done a podcast before. Um, but this is like a new venture, a new podcast going in kind of a different direction. So I am really, really proud of him. Again, I'm going to link his information below in the description. But yeah, let me get to work, y'all. I'm going to go ahead in the vlog here. I will see you all tomorrow. If you watch to the end of this video, you obviously like my vibe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and I want you all to be there with me. All right. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.